These are no ordinary mice. Not only do they eat the village cats, even the human cubs, all the children in the village are suffering. In order to prevent the children from being harmed again, the villagers fed the rats on a daily basis. But even so, they couldn't fill the rats' stomachs. So late at night, the rats would creep in to eat the sleeping villagers. But the rats don't bite for no reason. Until this day, a father and son arrived in the village. The villagers couldn't bear to look at the unexpected visitors. For no one who came to the village could escape the bite of the rats. But the village chief had a strange smile on his face. Mike told the mayor that he was taking his son to Seoul to see a doctor. He was passing through the village and wanted to stop by for a night. Then he took out a packet of cigarettes and handed them over. The mayor reluctantly agreed. In the evening, the mayor introduced the father and son to everyone. He said that they would be staying in the village for the night. The villagers only feared the presence of the dreaded rat. At that moment, the boy said that his father was an expert at getting rid of rats. Mike had no choice but to take out his flute and play it. And sure enough, when the flute started playing, all the rats in the house were scared and fled. The crowd was overjoyed. It seemed that Mike really did have a solution, and the village chief admitted that if he could get rid of the rat infestation, he would pay $100,000. So the next day, Mike sprinkled the whole village with white powder, gathered in a big cave that only goes in and out. Finally a fire was lit in the direction of the wind. The white smoke filled the village with the wind. The next moment, Mike started playing.